Breaking news, Nigerians. Bianca Ojuku raises alarm, says the federal government of Nigeria, the state government, are implementing grand plot against Igbos. What is going on here, guys, will shock you. The widow of the late Igbo leader, Udumegu Ojuku, Bianca, has alleged that the federal and, the, and some state government were frustrating the Igbos in their various businesses in part of the country. Ujuku, who spoke on the heels of the recent demolition of property and businesses place owned by the Igbo in Lagos State, said there had been a decade old grand scheme and conspiracy to isolate the Igbo from the mainstream of Nigerians' affairs, particularly in the governance of the country. The former Nigerian ambassador to Spain said, the Igbo are excluded, citing sensitivity the federal government project and infrastructure. Igbo youth are marginalized in employment schemes in federal ministries, departments and agencies, as well as in admission policies of the federal universities, ETC. Notwithstanding, she urged Igbo youth to remain creative, continue to be hardworking and diligent, pursue education with uncommon zeal, and shun crime and social vibes. She also lamented Nigerians' economic, social, political, security, and judiciary instability. She said the country has become extremely difficult to live in and dangerous economically social, politically, and regarding security and judiciary flaws, her ways. Nigerians have long ceased to look up to their government for solid policies and programs, actions and decisions that will change their fortune and build a great nation. Rather, they have come to accept their government as opportunist platforms for the leaders' enrichment of themselves, their families, for parochial secessional agenda. Hence, why those in government live in scandalous luxury? The Nigerian masses have been choked to bear existence by hostile economic and social situations. As the Incas, 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 Situation of our successive government has degenerated to a level it can never provide enough for Nigerians at present, not secure the, the future of Nigeria, which is the country's youth. In addition to the harsh economic realities, briefing mentioned above, Nigeria is also a country bedeviled by all manner of evils and societal hills which the government has proved important to control, such as extreme insecurity, banditry, cultism, kidnapping, ritual killings, human and organ trafficking, dishonesty, etc. Indeed, degenerate nature and levels of the nation's hill are so horrifying that any manner of evil one does not see in Nigeria may possibly not exist anywhere else in the world. Meanwhile, according to uh, Chief Emmanuel Wenyango, he said several meetings have been held in places where they said it is important to cripple Igbos. Hmm. According to a video posted by Arise TV, Chief uh, Emmanuel Wenyango, the President General of Organizing Dibo, has disclosed a purported scheme targeting Igbo businesses following the recent elections. According to him, the candidacy was supported both in Abuja and Lagos, but subsequent events suggest a consented effort to undermine the Igbo communi community economically. Chief Iwenyangu claims that after the elections, it has become apparent that some individuals allegedly posed to the Igbo community have advocated for a strategy to cripple them 
He reported that this sentiment was confirmed by those against the Igbos in various uh, clandestine meetings held in undisclosed locations. The proposed me method, as described by Chief Iwanyango, involves targeting Igbo businesses in both Lagos and Abuja. Speaking about the alleged plot, Chief Iwanyango stated, it was now confirmed by all these people who are against Igbos that the only way to handle Igbos is to cripple their business. They use the word cripple. He further highlighted that information about this sinister in 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 intentions had reached him in his leadership capacity within the Igbo community. The President General expressed concern over the potential impact of such actions, emphasizing the need to address the situation promptly, he urged the relevant authorities to investigate those alleged plans and take necessary measures to ensure the safety and well-being of the Igbo community. According to him, after the election, the candidacy was supported, one in Abuja, the candidacy was supported, one in Lagos. It was now confirmed by all these people who are against Igbos that the only way to handle Igbos is to cripple. They use the word cripple. Several clandestine meetings have been held in places where people said that it is now important to cripple Igbos and that the way and that the only way to cripple them is by crippling their business in Lagos and their businesses in Abuja. This information gets to us. It gets to me as the leadership of Igbos. Hmm. Now, wow. So, guys, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.